the purpose of the European Connected Health Alliance is to be a disruptor, to bring change in the health and social care and wellness industries, which is long overdue. And we try to do that as a not-for-profit organisation across Europe, uh, further afield as well. And what we do is we bring people together. So our community already uh, consists of over 500 members, over 15,000 organisations in our community. And that enables us to have a real influence on bringing better health and social care to citizens and bringing business to our members. Among our members are global companies that everybody will have heard of. You know, people like Dell, people like Cisco, people like uh, Roche, uh, the pharmaceutical company, all of those sorts of people. But they in turn need connections into the startup community where a lot of the innovation starts. All of those need connecting to governments. So quite a number of regional governments are members of the ECH Alliance to, for them to understand what's available and what could be available to their citizens. So we bring all of the players together. We try to find organizations outside of the normal grouping and introduce them to the healthcare industry in the hope that the innovations they have developed in their own industry can be applied to our industry. We have currently uh, nearly 30 ecosystems. Um, we have these spread across both in, in Scandinavia, right through Europe, uh, right down to Spain, uh, over into uh, the south of France, across now into places like the Czech Republic, Slovenia and so on. Ecosystems are permanent, not a one-off event. Secondly, they meet every three months which then builds relationships and trusts and business. And what you then have got is over 100 meetings a year in Europe, which have real impact on the citizens of that country and on the industry and the governments that work there. When you have a human network, which is what our ecosystems are throughout Europe, with maybe 15,000 participants in those over a year, you also have to have an online ability to communicate with those people. So we have created this Global Connector platform, which allows our members to tell us what they're doing, where they're doing it, successes, failures, and that allows us to share that across the community. So we create working groups, for example, on mental health and wellness. We create a working group on e-health strategies, which many regions have, but others don't have. And the third one is medicines optimization, the better use of medications and so on. They tackle specific issues from a particular region. It might be Finland, it might be Spain, it might be Germany, it might be any of those regions who contribute and say, here's the problem we have, here's what we're doing to solve it. Does anybody else have the same experience? So they meet regularly. They then disseminate and communicate that information through our Global Connector platform. One of the other things we have done over many years, and our members do as well, is to work with the European Commission very closely. So they have many, many projects like the European Innovation Partnership Project on Active and Healthy Aging. Secondly, we work very closely with the European Commission on a group on uh, mobile health, particularly apps. So we have people on those committees to try to influence the outcome of those uh, for the good of our members and the good of the community. So recently we've just set up our MAP, as we call it, uh, consultancy service in response to demand from our members who say, can you help us go into China? Can you help us, for example, look at a particular country? Which region in France should we go and work in? So we have the network and the intelligence network to be able to give them that advice on a professional basis. But we would run the Digital Health and Wellness Summit in Barcelona at the Mobile World Congress. We're very involved in the eHealth Week. We started off as the European Connected Health Alliance, of course, so most of our events are in Europe. But over the last 12 months or so, we have found that we have created the Canadian Connected Health Alliance, created the China Connected Health Alliance. We're deeply involved in parts of the US as well.